what's going on? Thank you guys for watching your favorite podcast. You're watching Necessary Knowledge and what? Nice. Yeah. Hey, I'm Caleb Smith, and to my right, I have or straight ahead. Yeah, straight ahead. Up top, <laughs> Josh B, aka Fair Conscious. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, you can follow Josh at Fair Conscious, and you can follow me at Mind of Solomon. And recently, Josh, we're going to be talking about the necessary before we jump into the nonsense and the knowledge. Um, recently in the news, we had somebody by the name of XXX Tentacion, which is a crazy mm -hmm. rap name, but. Uh, the guy, he was rapping on stage, and he got knocked out. Like, he got hit stick uh, for all the kids that played Madden back in the day. Like, that was like a regular Or Super thing. Smash Bros. Falcon or Super Punch. Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah. Falcon Punch. So, that's exactly what happened to him. And supposedly, um, to DJ Academics, you can find him on um, Everyday Struggle. You can find him on ComplexNews.com. He was saying that XXX, he was actually having some beef with some other rappers in the in the area. So, because of that... They got on stage and he got in the fight. So speaking on that, Josh, how do you feel about rappers having beefs? Because some beefs have turned deadly, supposedly, yeah. with Tupac and Biggie, or we've even seen some great beefs like Jay-Z and Nas. My and rule now, is keep it on wax, man. Just keep it. Just mm -hmm. songs. If you yeah. rap, then rap, bro. Because mm -hmm. if you rap, once you once you start rapping, you're a millionaire, you leave the game banging stuff behind. Just exactly. keep it on wax. And then, say. Technically speaking, is it kind of safe to say that if we have somebody like XXX, is he really a, a, a trap person? Like, I don't know is. He really there? <laughs> yeah, because Does he have any talent, honestly? Or? Exactly. And I just find it sad because I feel like these new age mumble rappers, they aren't really who they paint themselves out to be. Like, 21 Savage, if he doesn't have, like, a gun on him, would you truly be intimidated by his presence? No, because no. the thing is about a lot of these dudes are actually, honestly, 5'8 and 5'9. Very and small guys. Let's try to do from the hood, which, yeah. I mean, they have, they have to build an image up to get the attraction. But right, right, like, right. Just, you don't have to live. Just be, just be Tupac, bro. Exactly. Like Tupac's kind of thug life, but he went to like art school. Just do that. Yeah. <laughs> just do that. Just get that's a little it. money and then chill out. It's but true. he took it too far, bro. He did, and that's what happens when you take it too far, kid. So more of the story, stay true to yourself. Another person took it too far, and Bill Maher saying the N word on TV. Nice segue. You some segue. Uh, how do you feel about that, man? He called himself not only a N word but a house N word. So. I'm be honest, bro. The comedian <laughs> in me, I enjoyed it. I was I like, I do not enjoy that. I was like, that because... was that, that comedic timing though. Like the fact that that was the first. It's live TV. Pop him to say, he say, I let it ride, bro. Josh. Hey, you know not to say it again, but I let it ride. That's the problem, man. Um, <laughs> some people have the complexion for the protection, and Bill Meyer, he falls in that category. So I feel like um, Ice Cube, I feel like he addressed that perfectly. <clears throat> what he told him was, <clears throat> excuse me, that that's not his word. And I understand that that word was given to us, but at the same time, um, you just don't perpetuate. Uh, perpetuate or whatever the word is like you just don't bring that out and you just don't um, just keep saying things like that because what you're doing is you're just causing a, a very bad connotation with that so you well, just let don't me ask somebody the n-word do you think he says it at home if he says it on live television and, and he says it at that's home right? job. I mean and it's sad because he has a black well he doesn't have a black wife a girlfriend but he did have black yeah. girlfriends a lot so seeing that is just I, the, the, my thing is, I don't think he's yeah. racist, and therefore, because I don't think he's racist, I'm not saying he can say it, because honestly, exactly. a lot of people can say it around me, but they can mm -hmm. say it around other black people. Yeah. I don't really care like that. It's like, right. I say it, you say it, we're all cool. I know your mm -hmm. intent. Like, certain dudes, like, he's, he's saying it in a different way. Mm -hmm. so you can get that vibe from him, but Bill Maher, I don't know him personally, obviously, but yeah. he doesn't appear to be racist from mm -hmm. my knowledge of him, so mm -hmm. I'm like, just let him ride. Bad Joe, slander him a little bit, and then keep it moving. This is not, not going to be a story in a week and a half. So, of course not, because sadly, Bill Meyer, he could have had like a very like comedic sense to it, but sadly, most people don't have that like comedic sense. But to it, it. even and his humor, his humor is like to to step over to find that line, yeah. to step over and push the boundary. So let I let him live. And bro. that is a fact because most comedians actually do say some very hard stuff, black and white. But I feel like I kind of I'm kind of siding with Ice Cube on it. You know, just be very mindful about it because we know if he made like a Jewish joke like about the Holocaust or something, it would be like the end of the world. I mean, so, it's a little weird. I, I listen yeah. to Ice Cube and it's a little weird to Ice Cube some people what they can't say because Ice Cube, you said a lot exactly. about a lot of people and yeah. I respect what you say. And that's it's what I'm like, saying. Let's, we got we to gotta give people the same, like, the same benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. Speaking, but, of, speaking of West Coast mm -hmm. Hip Hop though, All Eyes On Me comes out June yes. 16th. Yes. You ready to see it, bro? Um, I'm actually trying to see it on Friday because I respect Pop, and I feel like this is going to be better than Biggie's movie. Um, I feel like Biggie's, it was cool, but 
I don't know. Like, I just, I feel like Pac, since he has more of a fan base, because I feel like Pac, he's more universal. Yeah. Biggie is, like, more strictly East Coast, and more people, like, on the East Coast love Biggie. But well, Tupac, Pac, he, he was able to, exp- he obviously made a lot more albums. He was able exactly. to expand into movies before he was killed. Yeah, Biggie, yeah, yeah. He had exactly. that chance. Instagram, too, because, like, we always see, like, Pac repost pictures, yeah. and they'll put, like, a little, um, somebody's motto or something, or, yeah. like, some saying that Pac didn't say, yeah. but they'll put it on the picture, <laughs> and you'll get, like, a million likes. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like Pac has become synonymous with Americana somewhat. So, yeah, I respect Pac, man. I, I don't like it'll be good. I got a hot take, bro. I don't think yeah. the dude looks like Tupac. The dude has a chubby face. He does not it was kind of like scary to me because I thought, wow, is that Tupac's son? Like, he looked exactly like Tupac to me, but if you don't feel that way, I understand. But I, at I, the same time, it's close because the guy that played as Biggie did not look anything like Biggie at all. I I feel you, bro. But Tupac, yeah. there's a lot of Tupac replicas out there, bro. They can get seen like once a month. And everybody, everybody. He's alive. in Cuba. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of. I feel like you could have found this dude. His face is just not. It's not built the same way as Pac's. What was your favorite Pac album? My favorite Pac album, man. Honestly, mm. that's a good question, Josh. Uh, you mean throw some names out there, bro? Not? Yeah, Blue Night. That was the last album. That was, that was the last album he recorded before he was killed. Yeah, and um, was All Eyes on Me? Like, yeah, all, that's a double disc. Yeah, yeah because really, I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, I can't tell you like my favorite album because I wasn't born in that era. So yeah. I can't like oh, dissect oh, it. But Josh man. can because he's man, like bro. a human encyclopedia. But with Pac, like, with Pac, I was drawn like more towards his singles, but not like I would sit down and say, let's play this whole entire album. So uh, he he doesn't he I honestly, can't give a fair he, a, he doesn't have a great uh discography mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. But his impact was just so immense I had to like I had to do my due diligence and check him out. Yeah, hey, I can only respect it, man. I yeah. can only respect it. So we have Pac and something else happened, Josh. We need some more necessary. I think something else happened, but we're probably glitching over it. We have Pac. Ariana Grande concert. Ariana Grande, that's huge. So yeah. about that, can you inform the audience? Because I know somewhat about it, but not yeah, uh, just according to what I read on CNN.com, uh, 20 people were killed and 90 people were bombed at a Manchester concert. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, featuring Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, uh, within 24 hours, she was hosting a benefit concert mm-hmm. and had like 50,000 people in attendance. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's just shocking that, like, everybody knows who would attend an Ariana Grande concert is a teenager and their friends and parents. So, it's like, mm-hmm. it, ISIS is just like, it's, it's like a cheap shot targeting kids like that. So, mm-hmm. it was just a shocking event and the fact that. Like her music is there's no aggression. It's just pop music, so it's yeah. weird that it's violence. Like, yeah, violence mm-hmm. happens at her show and mm-hmm. not other ones. So it was just it just caught everybody by surprise, and it was really shocking that. And but it was it was amazing how she recovered from it. And she offered people what they wanted in that moment. That's pretty dope. I I respect it. I mean, that's pretty much like the only thing that she could do because seeing that, I know that she's probably scarred because it's like, yeah. what if I didn't perform on this one specific day? And all is, these people you think that is that gonna affect your uh, your willingness to go to certain concerts? Or? I, no, because really, if we try to avoid certain aspects of life, then yeah, you'd be living in a cage. Exactly, yeah. because I can't step outside today because it's acid rain, so it's probably gonna burn my hair and yeah. I won't be able to live. So simple stuff like that, and knowing that if you conform and if you live afraid, then you're buying into that system. So you're buying into being afraid. You're buying into not wanting to be brave. So yeah. I feel like as human beings, we have that sole responsibility to be brave. So, yeah. I, I, I agree. I, res- I respect that. Yeah. But it's still like, uh, like if I was there, it's man, kinda that, scary. That's, that's PTSD right there in yeah. one event. So Yeah. That's a fact. So, guys, we just gave you your news, your necessary. So thank you for watching Necessary Knowledge and Nonsense. We'll be right back after this. Yep. Thank you. Good people, what's up? Thank you guys for always supporting us. Necessary knowledge and nonsense. Josh and I, we do not think enough, so we ask for what, Josh? We ask for one more favor. If y'all can just follow us at GSU Signal on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, as well as SoundCloud. And if you want to catch us on Facebook, it's The Signal. We appreciate it. Simple. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We cannot thank you guys enough. Our views for each and every video, um, every post on Instagram as well. It's just, it has been growing. It if you like growing. it, share it. Yeah. If you don't like it, comment. Let us know what we need to work on. Yeah, because we are always having open ears, uh, Snapchat, everything. We are always available. So hit us up. Let us know what you want. Let us know what you want for us to talk about because we got you. So thank you. Yeah. Peace.